Today's Tuesday, January 15, 2021. My name is Alex. This is another episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. And um, come with me. Come with me one time. Take a ride. I'm taking a short drive. That's all. It's the beginning of the week. And uh, it's been a good been a good one so far I wasn't a coming guns blazing but nah I told myself to calm down Alex take a fucking breath nobody nobody's actually going zero to 100 that quick very few very few people if any very few things happen uh, all of a sudden but they have their buildup. They do have their buildup. Similar to how folks go from uh, zero to 20 instantaneously, that jump, that jump is significant, right? It's greater than going from zero to five, five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20. So zero to 20 is quite the jump. So zero to 100, can you fucking picture that? But if we're talking intervals of 20, 80 to 100, still quite the jump. And maybe impressive, maybe impressive for some. Maybe unexpected, maybe suddenly for some. And for others, that shit's just normal going from 80 to 100 it's expected they look forward to that shit they look forward to it because running at 100 all the time can land you in some hot water that's like running and gunning like shooting from the hip shooting first ask questions later which even if you are moving righteously, you will get overwhelmed, you will be overcome, you will get tired. You will, you will die tired or you will die uh, surprised. Somebody will take you from behind, from where you aren't looking. You'll just go out at 100. Yeah, it's kind of like taking your fate into your own hands taking control of your destiny you choose when you go out and that's nice the idea of that is nice but you lessen the intensity and um, it's possible you are capable of garnering a little bit more control If you know what 100 looks like, operating at 80 should be easy. Should be easy. In school, that's what, like a B? A a B plus? No, B pluses are like high 80s, right? So in school, that's like a B. Nothing wrong with being a B student. There are some B students that are down. And it's those students that I'd probably contract with. It's those individuals who I know are down. There's some really smart motherfuckers, very intelligent, maybe even intellectual, who are not down and I would not contract with because I know they would flip for any number of reasons. They would fucking flip. They would flake. They are not stable. They are not worthy. They aren't even righteous. Should I? <laughs> Maybe this is saying something about me, but I've hung with more F students that I liked than A students that I wanted to be friends with. That's his life. That's how that comes down. And it's, I'm not gonna say it's unfortunate, But it's just a pattern. It's a pattern you pick up. It's a pattern you identify. It's a pattern you learn to work with. And 
And over time, I've come to identify students who are down. Students, not who are, who are down. I guess for lack of a better concept, you could just say down. But more so students who are, um, who are grounded. Students who, who base their perception on reality, on natural law, if you will. Hustlers. Hustlers who recognize hustlers. Real just recognize real. Game, recognize game. And uh, for whatever reason, fewer have been A plus students. For, for whatever, I know what reason it's for. The majority, and yes, this is personal opinion, but it's uh, generally applicable, likely to be empirical. A plus students are people pleasers. Nah, not even people pleasers because I might be a people pleaser. A plus students are authority pleasers. That's why they get the A pluses. That's why they do all the work, all the extra credit. That's why they, they, <laughs> that's why they stay after class. That's why they do special favors. That's why they try to get in the professor's good graces. That's why they try to brown nose. That's why their politics change with every professor they have. Shit, they're lucky to have professors with the same fucking politics they have. Then they don't have to change. But in every class, they try to share an opinion that's that's similar to the professor's. They try to gauge the professor out to try and... Uh, and make friends with the professor. I don't know, I don't think that's smart. I don't think that's smart. It's better to just be yourself. It's better to, uh, to stay rooted in natural law. If the professor is wise enough, they will appreciate it. And if not, then just shut the fuck up, bro. You're in the class, get the paper. I mean, get the, get the grade, get the paper. Get the grade and get the fuck out. What, are you gonna come back to this motherfucker for a recommendation letter? Are you serious? You're gonna, you're gonna come back to this motherfucker for a professional reference? Is that what you're doing? Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, shit. Nah, not me, not me. If I see something in class I'm not liking the way it's going, the vibe is off, then I just shut the fuck up. What do I have to contribute? If it's a if it's an answer I can get out, you know, just to prove I'm I'm awake in class, I'm participating, then yeah, I'll raise my hand, I'll get involved. But I'm but if it becomes I don't know. If it, if it becomes political, if it becomes ideological, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm I'm a little I'm a little more radical than most. I'm a little more radical than most. A little bit more. There you go. I'm a little bit more radical than most. And that's just the way life goes. That's just the way life goes. But I'm not special. I'm just an individual. I'm unique, right? But like everybody else, we're all unique. We are all, we are all special, we are all different, we are all unique, right? And if everybody's unique, fucking nobody's unique. Nobody's special. But just some motherfuckers like to please authority, really wanna suck down on the whole boot. That's just the way life is, man. Those motherfuckers you got to steer clear from because they will turn on you. They've rejected their individuality. They've rejected it. For what? For an A+. That's it? Come on, bro. 
That's not going to make you more successful. It's not going to make you better in life. It's not going to make you morally righteous. But for whatever reason, I mean, points matter to them. These participation trophies are worth dying. Well, not even worth dying for because they're scared to die. But they're not scared to kill for whatever reason. They'll take an order and say, oh, I was just doing my job. Yeah, they'll kill, but they're fucking scared to die. You have to live and die in reality. You got to fucking kill for it. And you will end up dying for it. We all will. But I'm not going to I'm not going to turn on myself to turn on everybody else. I'm not scared to die. I'm not afraid to kill either. That's why I don't bitch out. I don't bitch out. I don't I won't I don't sell out. Nah, hold on, hold on. What's a good word for that? What is a good word for that? I don't waver. There you go. I do not waver. So don't waver. Don't fucking hesitate. And that doesn't mean <clears throat> don't be uh, obnoxious. That's that's not what it means. If I tell you not to hesitate, that doesn't mean oh raise your hand at every opportune moment and fucking spout out on, spout out on the mouth. Spout off. What is it? Jump off on the mouth. Spout off on the mouth. Don't run your mouth. That's it. Don't have to raise your hand and fucking run your mouth to to try and stand out. It's like everyone is aware of their individuality. Except when somebody with some perceived authority orders something of them, requires, mandates something from them. And when they do that, They lose control of their life. They lose control of their life. Somebody else is commandeering. Somebody else, something else is commandeering their life. Be it the professor, be it the school, because, you know, schools have politics too. Be it the state, party politics. And I'm not saying you can't make the state better. I'm not saying you can't make your party better. I'm not saying you can't make your school better. I'm not saying you can't influence your professor. It just takes legwork. The kind of legwork that doesn't come from bending over and taking it in the ass. (laughs) Oh, shit. I got the club going up. On a Tuesday. On a fucking Tuesday. It is what it is, man. It's just how life is. It it be like that. It really do be like that. You know who... (laughs) Never mind. I was going to say, you know who influences people by bending over? But, um... But no. I, I, I feel like you get the point. Bitches. Bitches influence people. And that's that's beyond feminine. That's something else entirely. So, um... Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself when you need to. Again, you don't have to stand out for yourself being an obnoxious fuck. You just have to know what you stand for. Get involved, participate some, let them come to you. Then you influence that way. And yeah, that that doesn't mean that the professor's gonna come to you for advice, that the professor's gonna come to you for re-education. Don't try and re-educate these motherfuckers. They already have PhDs. They think they know it all. They, They will PhD your ass out the door. Don't don't try and acquire knowledge from them acquire knowledge elsewhere acquire knowledge outside of the classroom because bringing in outside knowledge is a surefire way to get them to jump on the phd gas pedal and show you 
just how PhD they can be. Show you what they know. So, just be nice. Do what you do. Ah, fuck, bruh. I had to get in. I had to cut somebody off. Thankfully, they were gracious. They didn't honk. That's what happens when you're having fun, man. Having fun on a Tuesday. It's all right, though. I got the rest of the day to make it up. Oh, what, you don't believe in karma? <laughs> you don't believe in God? I got the rest of the day to make it up. You can follow us on Instagram, Corporate Cowboys. You can also make your own luck. That's called Dirty Luck. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just like there's karma, there's Dirty Luck. That's where you take control of it. It's where you take active control of it. You aren't just a passenger. You aren't just along for the ride with your opinions and beliefs wavering with every class period and every professor that comes along. That's right. You employ that dirty luck. You make the causes. You are the causes. You create the effects. That is dirty luck. Subscribe if you would like something monthly on Patreon. It's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Pretty much find the podcast anywhere podcasts are distributed. You want to donate? By all means, do that. You can find the links somewhere. It's on a link tree. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Directly to yours truly, Alex. And um, and that'll help keep this operation nonprofit, at least until you know I'm dead or something. And then somebody wants to capitalize on it, take on investors or something. That's up to them. But at least until I'm dead, this will be my project. So it's been ordained. And until then, well, shit, we'll be, we'll be in touch. <laughs> you can write also P.O. Box 3372, Rancho Cordova, California, 95742. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your afternoon. Have a good night.